Hello and welcome folks, Fozzum here. I wanted to show you all how to change victory animations in WWE 2K15. So first you're going to have to load up your game. And also you're going to want cheat engine like most of my mods. This should be relatively familiar to anyone else watching my previous videos. You're going to be opening up cheat engine and WWE. And then you're going to attach cheat engine to the game. Alright, now that we have the game loaded and Sheet Engine attached, so that's attached right there with the open, I'm going to go to my WWE tables. So I've added this winning animation column to my Superstar Memory table, and in this particular video we're going to be editing Jeff Hardy. The original POFO file that came with Jeff Hardy uh, came with John Cena's winning animation. And that isn't quite what we want. Now I'm going to take a moment to quickly show you what his current winning animation is. Now after a quick squash match, you can kind of see that this particular animation isn't exactly uh, fitting to the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy, it is the John Cena entrance with all the bravado and swagger that he has with a the bit of a more muscly slow jaunting and ad, uh, advertising to the crowd here. It's not exactly a bad winning animation, but we want to change it to make it something a bit better. I've uh, decided to go with Rey Mysterio, another high flyer who will be able to move around the ring a bit better and show off his athleticism more. So we're going to exit this and we're going to go back to our cheat table, open up the memory view, going to go over to the uh, superstar memory table page, go to the winning animation column of the superstar you want to change, going to copy this, go to address, paste it in there, Hit OK, and you want to change this to display a 2-byte decimal. So his current animation is 6139. And I also have this other one, P, uh, pack slash EVT slash winning, that has all of the animation numbers for the individual uh, wrestlers. So if you go over to John Cena, you can see 6139, that matches up right with that. And we go a couple up higher, and you can see Rey Mysterio was 6123. So I can just copy this number up here. If you can't do this, feel free to type it in another application and, and uh, copy it from there. But this is just easier to copy and paste in there when you double click on it when you double click on it you'll get the number that you can edit edit it in there hit OK and I'll save it in your memory you still have to go to my WWE and save the game and then you can go back and watch another victory animation to see if you like how it came out once again I'm gonna do another quick Jeff Hardy squash to get you another winning animation. This is certainly a much better winning animation in my opinion. Uh, he is still a face, still gloating for the crowd, but showing off what he can do in the ring more so. It's a bit shorter though. If you want to try and find some other ones, there are certainly plenty of other packs. You could select se separate numbers based on who you want them to emulate. You could do this with any superstar in the game. These are all within the moveset files. If you want to edit them within the moveset files, they're a bit beyond the Waltron hex. Actually, quite a bit beyond. You can see the Waltron hex is up here if you're looking in Cheat Engine. So it's going to be a fair bit down, but it's, 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 it's a bit secluded from other data if you want to show that in the moveset. I believe Cave Wave Rider's new tool has, in fact, added winning animations to his moveset creator. Now this has been a little quick tutorial on how to change winning animations 
This has been helpful. Please let me know. And please let me know what else you would like me to show. This was uh, requested by Skino. A little quick tutorial for you guys. And I also have an upcoming series of live streams in the works. Transitioning from WWE 2K15 going into WWE 2K16. Look for more information on that coming up in the next few weeks. This has been Pawsum and I thank you for your time.